Hello guys, I have loads of new updates for you on the TR to PR pathway, so stay tuned and keep watching. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Urvi and I create videos on TR to PR pathway, life, immigration and career in Canada. So if you're someone who's interested in regular updates on the TR to PR pathway, I provide latest news on the TR to PR pathway. I give you regular updates on AOR and ECOPR. I post on my channel every four to five days a new video giving you the latest updates. So if you're someone who's interested, please, please, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification button. Your support means a lot to me. So please consider subscribing and leaving a comment in the comments below. All right. Let's get started with today's update. So news number one uh, today is that the essential non-healthcare stream is now closed. So 30,000 cap has been filled as of uh, 16th July early morning EST time. This stream has been closed and later on I got to know that overnight just overnight 4,000 applications were submitted I don't know what actually happened there but I guess so many people were uh, ready to submit and as they saw the ticker moving so fast everyone kind of panicked and started submitting their applications but this stream is now closed so if you're someone who still wanted to apply in tier to pr pathway you can definitely try the French streams so first let me show you um, that the essential non-healthcare stream is now closed um, but the French speaking stream has unlimited cap so there is no cap in terms of how many applications they can take and the French uh, qualifying language requirement is also not very high so you can still try for this mind you it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort to learn French I have learned level one of French. Um, so let me give an example. Je m'appelle Urvi, comment ça va? So that means my name is Urvi, how are you, right? So it takes a while to get you understand um, some of the you know words and the grammar specifically. It's very different from English. So it will take uh, some time for you to start uh, grasping those terms but uh, if you're someone who's willing to give that dedication in all in go all in give your best and uh, you know let me know in the comments below if you like to learn a little bit of French from me more than happy to share my knowledge with you news number two is new open work permit has been launched for tr to pr pathway applicants uh, I've created a separate video entirely on this topic explaining you more about uh, this new program it's starting July 26 2021 uh, although the instructions on how to apply for this work permit hasn't been released yet that's what it will uh, on 26th of July more details will be released it definitely on the plus side it definitely gives hope to many people whose work permit is expiring and they will be eligible to extend that work permit until December 2022 However, on the downside, it also means that there might be potential delays in processing of TR to PR pathway uh, files and, um, you know, in the IRCC didn't want a lot of people going out of status and that's why they have come up with this work permit. So definitely pros and cons. However, I do hope that IRCC is able to increase that processing uh, timelines and speed up the AOR rollout and ECOPR rollout for the TR to PR pathway streams. But I'll keep you posted. So here are some of the highlights. Um, but I have done entire video on the new open work permit. So if you haven't checked it out already, I've added the link in the description below. So please go ahead and check it out. All right, so news number three is slow AOR rollouts. Yes, guys, another week passed away and another week of slow rollouts uh, for AORs. Early this week, I was seeing a lot of people posting that they are receiving AORs. Later, later on in the week, it seems that the rollout frequency has declined. The other thing which I wanted to 
let you guys know is that applications are processed by the time of submission, which is submission time on the day of submitting. However, every file and IRCC, um, they are all different and hence there is some discrepancy in terms of receiving the AORs. So although like two people have submitted exactly same time at 12.09, for example, one person has a more complex file and they have few things going on like dependents and they are maybe to back like there are a lot of complications going on and the other person is single and they have like uploaded everything up front so they are they'll get uh, uh, AORs faster right so that's why there is like discrepancy so don't worry everyone will get AORs for sure and uh, here is the timeline from what I have noticed online and other sources like um, Integra international grad uh, graduate stream um, so here is the breakdown of who is getting AORs based on the submission time on May 6th. So each of the screens I've listed the times based on my research uh, online. Um, and it's broken by each stream. International graduate stream applicants were submitted around May 6th, 12.20 p.m. to 12.30 p.m. Majority of the people in this time frame are getting AORs. Um, essential non healthcare workers as well. It's a larger or a broader uh, bucket because uh, in this stream, maybe the applications were lower is, as compared to international graduate stream. And essential healthcare stream, again, it's the first hour. I haven't seen a lot of updates in this stream, but I've seen one or two getting AORs. And for the French stream, a um, few people who submitted their uh, applications in, on May 6th afternoon, they have received AORs as well. So I think just because the French stream has uh, dedicated uh, French officers, maybe IRCC officers, um, and the cases are very few, the chances of uh, quick processing, um, the chances are that applicants who submitted in French streams will get AORs and ECOPR faster because it's just the volume versus the people available, right? So that's why I think um, French streams is a really fast moving stream in general. All right, so news number four, and this is nothing new, you know this, and I wanted to remind you is that linking application uh, is critical. So make sure you all link your application and um, people who are able to link their applications are able to get um, the communication faster and that's recommended by IRCC as well and I've created a standalone video on this so make sure you check it out and uh, additional document request letters are received for people who missed out on sub submitting few documents and I've seen additional document requests coming in for PCC, missing pay stubs or employment records, missing IELTS score um, or even if people have not submitted the form correctly, they are requesting them to resubmit the forms, right? And the other thing is that people who submitted without transcripts, like they forgot submitting transcripts for international graduate stream, they are still getting AORs. So don't worry, um, you know, they are definitely giving you everyone an opportunity to fix any mistakes which have been made. All right, so number five, steady ECOPR rollouts. Uh, more applicants, I've seen more than AORs updates, I've seen more ECOPR updates this week. So things looks like the bottleneck or the slowdown in the process is around AORs, but after you get AORs, things are moving pretty quickly. So let's discuss the steps post AOR. Once you get your AOR, there are some cases where the medical is passed after it or sometimes medical is passed before it. And then you receive your pre-arrival letter and post that you receive an email from IRCC to send them your personal email and they will send you uh, the login credentials or temporary password to log in into the um, PR portal. And when you log into the PR portal, you upload your photos and you fill in additional information. And then once you complete everything, finally you receive ECOPR. So this end-to-end -end from AOR to ECOPR is taking anywhere from two to three to four, maximum of four weeks. So which is fantastic to hear. And uh, I have some example timelines for you. So as I, 
you know, I, as I gave shout out to Gurpreet in my last video, he is one of my subscriber and he got ECOPR on 7th July and he submitted his application 12.05. He got his biometric mail on 31st May, AOR on 1st June, biometric uploaded 7 June medical pass, 10 June. Uh, PR confirmation portal email was on 17th June, photo uploaded and address updated 17 June as well and he got his ECOPR 7 July. So you can see from AOR 1st July to 7 July it took him more than a month. Um, but then there are other examples where things are going very quickly. So let me give you other July timelines. So I have two examples here in front of you. Both of them for, are for international graduate stream. So the first example is where the individual applied on 6th May, 12.09 p.m. EST timing. Biometric e email uh, he received on 4th, May, 4th uh, June. AOR was on 7 June, biometric uploaded 7 June again, medical passed on 25th June. So that was a slight delay observed there. PR confirmation portal mail was 8th July. He uploaded his photo and uh, address on 9th July, received ECOPR 12th July and the visa office for this individual was Itobiko. So this was a timeline, this seems like a pretty good timeline. So from 7th June to 12th July, about one month of time from the time of receiving AOR, the individual received ECOPR, so that's fantastic. However, the slowdown seems like that slowdown after receiving the portal mail has been resolved and things are moving pretty quickly. So the second example here, one thing to note here that this individual submitted on 12.41 p.m. EST and this is like um, right now majority of the applications where the submission time is 12.20 to 12.30 in between this time frame the applications are being processed. However, this individual um, is like one off case maybe um, but I'm so happy for them. And, uh, this individual is able to link the application 8 June, biometric email 8 June, AOR 8 June, uh, biometric uploaded and medical pass both on 8 June again. So a lot of things happening in 8th and 9th June for this individual. And then PR confirmation portal was on 9th July, so similar to the first uh, individual here, and uh, uploaded photo and address on 12th July and finally received ECOPR 14th July. So this is the July timeline, this week's timeline. Uh, I again wanted to remind you I'm here to give you latest and greatest updates on PR to PR pathway and share the latest timelines with you. This is something interesting to you. Please, please, please consider subscribing. Your support really means a lot to me and tells me that I am doing a decent job in delivering this updates to you. So thank you. Um, moving on, I wanted to give you uh, a refresher on the June timelines. There are a couple of June timelines. Um, everything like AOR taking about one month or even less for the second uh, individual here. But uh, those are the June timelines. And I'll keep, you know, extracting latest timelines for you and sharing these timelines with you. Um, moving on, the one of the most important things uh, to discuss in this video is what are ghost updates? A lot of individuals post AOR, post receiving AOR, they are getting ghost updates. Now, this is a very cool name for very, something very simple. So basically, when you log into your application, it says that uh, your application has been updated. Instead of the submitted status, it's changed to updated. But none of the fields have changed. This means that someone in the back end is doing something with your file, which is usually a good sign because your file is being looked at. So these are ghost updates. It really doesn't mean anything, but uh, you get um, regular updates on your profile. Um, and it's almost like it's not a real update, but uh, there might be a technical glitch, which is making that happen. And once you log out and log back in again, the application returns back to submitted. So in order for you to check if your profile is undergoing a ghost update or not, um, the only way to find out is regular login and validating that your application is undergoing a ghost update. Earlier, we used to get emails on any updates 
um, for my permanent residency, I've got in ghost updates, but I used to get email notification as well when ghost updates were happening. But seems like now people are not getting any email notifications. It's just that when you log in into the application, that's when you know if it's a ghost update or not. So ghost updates are usually a good sign that uh, something's happening on your file people a IRCC officer is looking into it which is always good and more people are observing ghost updates post AOR so that's that's update for you hope you now understand what is a ghost update and don't get scared by the word ghost <laughs> um, let me know in the comments below if you have received if you've gotten any ghost updates I would love to know if you have gotten any ghost updates and I would love to know your timelines as well so post it in the comments below what are your timelines uh, special shout out to Saranjit Kaur, Sheikh Yasin, Mosin Minari, Dana Ido thank you so much for posting your questions and interacting with me I really enjoy this interaction so thank you guys thank you for uh, watching my videos and uh, again wanted to let you know uh, my promise regular updates are guaranteed on this channel you can ask your questions I'll try my best to answer them again I'm not an immigration consultant but I enjoy researching and talking about immigration in uh, in general and please make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button with that I wanted to leave you with the examples of AOR additional document requests and ECFTR emails and thank you so much have a great day and take care